Okay, so today I'm going to go over some things that you need to know when we're talking about expressions and equations. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is the difference between an expression and an equation. So up here we have an expression, and the reason that this is an expression is because it does not have an equal sign. So when we're asked to solve the expression, we're really just going to simplify it. Okay, we're not going to come up with one answer. So um, if you don't have this in your notes, you might want to put this in your notes. An expression is just, it just does not have an equal sign. Okay, so um, it also has variables and terms and stuff like that, but simply put, it just does not have an equal sign. So we're going to have to simplify expressions rather than solve an equation, okay? Um, the first thing you need to know when we're talking about expressions is what a term is. Okay, and a term is in an expression and it's Terms are separated by plus signs and minus signs. So when we look at the expression above and we split up the terms, what you need to do is you need to look for the plus and the minus signs. So in this case, I look to find the first plus sign, and I put a line right in front of the plus sign. And then I look to find the next plus or minus sign, and that's right here, and I'll put a line right in front of it. So this expression here has three terms. 3x is the first term, positive 2y is the second, and negative 1 is the third term. Okay. Um, the next thing you need to know is factors. Okay. Factors are any numbers or variables that are being multiplied together. Okay? So, um, one thing you might want to do is check out my video on multiplication and the ways to write multiplication. But if you already know or you already have watched that video, you know that if we look at the first term, so 3x, okay, 3 and x are actually being multiplied together. So if we look here, since they're being multiplied together, 3 is a factor. And x is another factor. If we look at the second term, 2 is a factor, and y is also a factor. Okay, and if we look at the third term, negative 1 isn't being multiplied by anything, so that is not a factor. Okay? The next vocab word we need to know is what a coefficient is. And a coefficient is the constant number being multiplied by a variable. Okay, so that would be an example, or an example of this would be if you look at the first term again. We have a 3 or a number being multiplied by a variable, which is x. So the, the coefficient would be 3, because 3 is the constant number. 3 can't change like the x can. x could be any number it wants to be, but 3 is always going to stay 3 in this case. Okay, so 3 is the coefficient of x. Okay? One thing with coefficients is if we have a variable all by itself, for example, if we just have x all by itself, 
Okay, well, x's coefficient would be 1. Okay, and that'll be important later when we start combining terms. Okay, but if you see a variable all by itself, okay, another example would be, let's just say we have a. Okay, that's a variable all by itself. Okay, well, if you need to know the coefficient of that variable, that would be 1. Okay, why is that 1? Well, if we gave a a value, let's say that a was, let's say a equaled 5. Okay, well, if a equals 5, that means that a needs to be 5. So if we plugged in a 5 here, okay, that would be 5. Well, a should always be 5. So if we were to multiply something, because we put it in parentheses, what times 5 would still give us 5? Well, 1 times 5 would still give us 5, so that's why it's 1a. Okay? If we put 0 times 5, that would give us 0, and that would not equal 5 anymore. So the coefficient of a variable all by itself is 1. Okay, these are the terms um, that you're going to need to know for sure when we talk about um, expressions. Uh, the last one that we're going to talk about, and I'm going to erase this stuff, is something that we've already talked about in previous unit. And we've been using the word within these terms, but I'm just going to review it. And that is the word variable. Okay, A variable is just a letter that stands, excuse me, a letter or symbol that stands for a number. Okay, and that should be familiar with you because we talked about that when we talked about um, graphing some inequalities in the previous unit. But in this expression above here, Okay, we kind of got a lot going on, but in the first term, the variable is x, and in the second term, the variable is y. Okay, make sure those terms are in your notes, and if you have questions, make sure you let me know, or rewatch the video so that you are clear on what each of these terms that we talked about means.